Hi there, this is Fixed It. The first thing you need to do is to get some power onto your USB hub. This one nicely glows green when it's powered up. The next thing you're going to need to do is to plug the Ethernet cable from your router into the Apple Ethernet to USB and then plug that into the back of the mini hub. Once that's in there, you're then going to need another USB cable and you're going to plug this end into the USB hub and plug the other end into your lightning to USB adapter. Now switch airplane mode on and that basically makes sure that it doesn't try to use the dead Wi-Fi or switch to the 3G. And now plug your lightning connector into your iPad mini if you're using an iPad mini. What happens now is absolutely nothing. No extra box or anything pops up here. As far as the machine's concerned, nothing's happening. If you go to general and then do about, it tells you that you've got no network available. However, it's lying. Um, so now if you go to the app store, And it says turn off airplane mode or use a Wi-Fi to access data. OK. But what you'll notice is that even though it's telling you it can't be used, miraculously the app store is open and appears to be working. So let's just go here and I'll just type in um, synth for synthesizer. So let's go for synthesizer arpeggiator and drum pad. And there you have it. Um, it's now using the Ethernet connection and it's not getting a bad connection. It was a very annoying iPad mini that didn't work properly for some reason with uh, the 3G or the Wi-Fi as it constantly switched between the two. And it's now working on Ethernet. It's a bit of a nuisance that you need all these additional items. Uh, but it does mean that you can continue to use the device with just this cable plugged into the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll also continue to work on uh, figuring out exactly how it is I can get the Wi-Fi to turn back on anyway. Hope you liked the video. Please click on the eye if it's useful to you. And I uh, hope you'll support Fixed It. Thanks for watching.